your mess. You might still mess up, but at least you're not planning on it. <laughs> but look at this. Not only should you not be scared because you're dealing with these issues while doing what Jesus says, but here's the second part of that first issue. Jesus also knows what's going on the whole time. In the Gospel of Mark, he plainly says Jesus saw them struggling. Now, Matthew doesn't say that, but we know that Jesus went to them uh, because of the text. Now, now, listen, do the math, do the math, do the math. In verse 23, Jesus was alone on a mountain when evening came, which means that he already sent the disciples away to cross a lake. Going down to the boat, across the lake. In verse 25, he meets them between 3 and 6 a.m. in the morning. Walking on the water. Y'all do the math. All right. The, the, the disciples had a few hours head start in a boat and were a few miles out. Jesus finishes on the mountain and then just happens to run into them on the water. Done. 
And the reason is simple, it's because we put trust in ourselves. And we know we can't do it. And that's why you have to stay focused on Jesus. Because he's the one pulling us through. Listen, I'm pretty much done, but I just got a couple things to say. To, to the high school graduates, I know that this is a movement, uh, on this, me, this is a moment in your life that you've never experienced before. But look at everything else that you've already been through. Look where God has brought you from. And look at how God has set you up in your future. Stay focused on Jesus and ignore the storm around you. There are people in this room that didn't think that they'd make it to 20 years old, to 30 years old, to 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and up. But you're still here by the grace of God. I don't care what life throws your way. Don't you dare get scared now. Don't get scared after God's already brought you through. Don't be timid after God's already done so much. Don't be worried after God has proven that he will be there time and time again. You just keep on praying. You just keep on changing. You keep on seeking advice. You just keep on serving. And don't believe that he's brought you this far to leave you. You don't have money. You don't have your relationship. You don't have a clue. Doesn't matter. Remember that God is still right there. Don't you get scared now. Walk in the path that Jesus has laid for us and be confident that he will never leave you. Don't get scared now. Church, listen, I know that people are passing away. Mourn and pray for strength. Please, but please don't get scared now. I know that times are hard, but don't get scared now. There are people here who have made it without a home, but are scared of not a bill. <laughs> don't, 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 don't get scared now. There are people here who have made it without a dime but are scared about losing a quarter. But then there are people that have made it by the grace of God but are scared about not having anybody to help them. <laughs> don't you dare get scared now. Look at what you already are doing in the storm. Look at how far you've come. Look at how far. Right there. Is anybody in the 